There are lots of reasons to get on the ARCHICAD 15 bandwagon, and we'll kind of take a look at some of the new tools that it has. This is Stephanie Kwame from the CAD Academy. We're going to put in a few walls here. We're going to take the default walls, and let's go ahead and put in <coughs> a 40 foot by a 30 foot wall here using directional input. We'll close that. And uh, this is one of the new tools. It's called Shell. And notice the interesting geometry that uh, you can make with this command. Also, I decided to make, uh, I'm going to make like a, a glass or uh, some sort of an unusual uh, roof on this. So I have already picked some materials. If you pick uh, or change the material on one of these and then just hit this little connector, then it changes it on all of them. Okay, now we're going to go and choose this as the first vector. Intersections, when it finds an intersection, you get a check. So I know that I'm, I'm connected here. I'm going to go up here. And now we're connected completely. And let's take a look at it. Pretty interesting. It would be a little bit more of a challenge to do this with other, the other um, ARCHICAD 14. I'm going to go into the edit mode. If I want to change anything, I choose the arrow. Now let's go ahead and select this new glass roof. And what we want to do is we want to extend this. So we are going to extend this and put kind of a, um, a little shaded cantilevered area over a uh, porch. Now we're going to have to tell it the total, total extension. And I'm going to go with 45. Now uh, an issue that we want is we want to extend this wall and up to the roof and trim it. There's differences in this now. And they're very great. They give you lots of more options. So we're going to go uncheck the roof, select by escaping, select the wall, and let's increase its height by 20 to 25 feet. And now if I right click on that, I uh, can go to connect. And we used to have just trim, and now we've got trim elements to roof, shell, solid elements, operations. So we're going to go ahead and do a trim elements to roof shell. The first thing it asks for is to click on the trimming element. We're going to use our new little roof as a trimming element. Then it says click on the part that you want to keep. And so we want to keep the bottom part. And that is how you can trim with this. Again, I think there's a lot more flexibilities uh, to the uh, even the trimming tool. It's a great tool to use. For fun, let's flip this thing around and let's extend, do a little bit of an extension on the back of this as well. So again, if I want to edit anything, I select the arrow. We are going to um, select this and we pick on a grip to give us our pal of things that we can do. We're still in the same command, and we're going to extend this one, let's say, um, to 48 feet. And then we're going to go through the same uh, exercise. Let's go ahead and, and extend that roof on up, I mean that wall on up. And we will right click, do a connect, and we'll trim to the roof. It says uh, trimming element, and that would be this. And what do we want to keep? We want to keep that. And so now we have a very, very interesting beginning of a um, what we are calling a retreat. It's a new little exercise that will uh, be up on the CAD Academy website. We want to do a little add-on right here. So let's go ahead and uh, connect to that corner. And using our X and Y coordinates, I'm going to go over exactly 10 feet. And we'll start right here at that intersection, come up. We're going to make this 20. And we'll make this 20. And bring this down and connect that. Right click and say OK. So now I have something like this. And for this particular item, we are going to have on this area a um, gable roof. So let's go ahead and make a gable roof on this. And again, I like to 
do that in a 2D plan view. I'm going to take the roof and we want to put on panels. So we have kind of uh, different options here. And one is a panel. More options, by the way. So I'm going to do a first node on the roof line. I'm going to go to this intersection. I'm going to, oh, we didn't activate it for some reason. Let's go back to roof and make sure that it's activated. Okay, we do have the first node of pivot line, so we're going to select this. You can right click and get rid of uh, the um, guidelines if you don't want them. And now we want to go in this direction. And now I can create a rectangle. And I want to go to a midpoint, so that works really nicely for me. So let's put a panel over here. We get the check mark. We know we're connected. We want to go up in this direction. And let's go ahead and draw a second panel. Okay, let's take a look at that. And so what we have is uh, we need to connect that to the other uh, roof. And we might want to put in an over and uh, select and do an overhang on this. Let's go ahead and uh, do the arrow and select these two panels for now. Shift to add. And we'll go ahead and change its material to that same material that we used on the original building. And I think it was something icy something. Let's see if I can see that. Um, here we go. And again, we can just make them all the same by collecting that. And I'm going to say OK. And uh, we are going to stop right here on this project, but we're going to continue on with ARCHICAD 15. But that's a with the same project. But I want, don't want to make really long, boring videos, so we're going to just do sno short snippets. But uh, already you can see uh, it's there's some robust tools for editing uh, 3D uh, walls objects. There's some new tools for doing uh, shelling and that's just the beginning.